right, you two are back again for another Thoughts from the Corner. We're here with my good friends Adam and Lucy. Again. Hey. And today we're going to be talking about Age of Civilization from Ice Makers Games. This is for one to four players. Take about 30 minutes to play. I'd say it's probably about ages, probably 10 plus. I think they could figure that out. Before we do that, I want to give a big shout out to Diane from Shooting Game Games. They are awesome. They supported the channel for a very long time. And they have uh, Heroes Wanted, which is a really cool uh, work placement game that uh, Adam liked a whole good deal. And I did as well. Uh, <laughs> but right now, we are talking about Age of Civilization, which is kind of a difficult game to explain. So bear with me a little bit before we get into our opinions. But essentially how it's going to work is you're going to have five civilizations set out there. At least in a four-player game, we have five of them set out. And think of those somewhat like small world races, where each one is going to have its own unique characteristics. So there'll be a characteristic at the top, which is a special ability or bonus points or something that you're going to get right then and there as long as that civilization is active. Now, at the bottom, they're going to have a persistent special ability that as long as you get another civilization later in the game, you're going to be able to keep that little bottom point. So it might be uh, military strength or it might be cheaper cheapness on research or something like that. And you, the catch with this is, and it, we're going to talk more about it extensively, is that you can only have three civilizations the entire game. Now, the whole game only lasts, I think, maybe six or seven turns. You're saying, well, there's no big deal. It's a, it's a big freaking deal. Uh, along the way, though, you're going to have a set number of workers. And once again, that's based on the civilization. Some have two, some have four, some even have three. And uh, you use those workers to take on your turn one of six actions. Now, there's the top three actions, like where you're going to build wonders, which will give you various different points for different things. Uh, and you can exploit your workers just to get coins if you really need it. But then there's also going to be three cards at the bottom, which will be like farming or trading or different things mm -hmm. like that. And as you move the rounds, the top part, which is these three actions, so just imagine three worker placement space, are going to move one spot to the right. And then you'll have one new additional action that you'll be able to do. But the old action you won't be able to do, the one that gets... Yeah, you will not be able to, so yeah, so there's, there's, say there's four right here, and then I, you know, so the first round there's the three, and then I move it over here. This last action, I can't do anymore, but some of those civilizations will break the rules and allow you to take your own actions. Mm -hmm. um, so that's the kind of cliff notes of what the game is. You go, you're trying to get the most points. Mm -hmm. Who wants to start talking about their thoughts on the game? Because there's so, a lot of thoughts on this. Yeah, game. so what, what I like is that uh, pretty much all the information is right out there in the open. I mean, you can see what everybody else is doing. You can see what, what's available. Uh, like, there is time between your turns, but it, no one's blocking you in doing any. Uh, well, Underline I mean, they, that time between your turns. Yeah, but uh, nobody's blocking you from doing, you know, what you're going to do on your turn. Oh, yeah, so you worker placement game. Yeah. yeah, so there's no blocking, like, in your typical worker placement game. That's right, because you do your whole turn, and then the next person does their whole turn. Yeah. Uh, I, I enjoyed that there was a lot of variety in it. We played it twice, and uh, the board, the the way that the cards come out, it's going to be different every time. And uh, so the first one, we had, like, next to no wars going on. Yeah, only mm -hmm. one war. The, the second one, we had almost all the possible wars happening. Mm -hmm. so, Towards so, the end, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so the battles really made a difference in that one. I mean, mm -hmm. killed off all of Lucy's people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, because if you're the weakest person when these wars come... Yeah, because like certain cards will have like a little top, and they'll have top events. Like, for example, the plague, you everybody loses one character. Or, like, for like certain cards with, like, the little like sword symbol, you lose a character if you have, like, the least amount of shields. Which, shields are... I didn't go for shields at all in <laughs> the last game. Uh, yeah. Some more variability, though, with the wonders as well. Mm -hmm. I really like that. You always yeah, have seven wonders. different wonders out. Mm -hmm. And while they're not crazy different... They do mix up the game. Where you get the crazy difference in the variabilities is those civilizations. There's a huge stack of those. No two games in this are ever going to be the same. No two civilizations that you create in any game is going to be the same. Because you might, if you get super lucky, it might be like, oh, this one has a bonus on research. And then the next one I got has a bonus on research. And then you're like, oh, man, do I take my last one? And, and you know, do I wait for the more research or do I take that? And that was, I really liked how you could only take three civilizations because that was a big choice when you like took those. So when one person uh, takes a civilization, all the other ones that are out there get a coin on them. Ah, so And yep. those coins build up over time. So like mm -hmm. some of them end up with like nine, yeah. ten yep. coins on them, which is huge. I mean, you take that and you, I mean, that's a Middle wonder. Middle of the game, it's huge. And more. Because coins aren't worth pretty much anything at the end at of the, the game. At the end, true. Yeah. But I mean, 
all the act like a lot of the actions require that yep. you spend money to do them mm. so if you don't have to worry about the money and you just have to think like all right i got three guys i'm gonna put them on this 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 i don't have to worry about having to pay for all that stuff oh, yeah. like that can really slow you down like in the first game i got a really awesome card combination because i took my civilizations right away mm -hmm. but then i didn't realize that i wouldn't have any money to do those things later so i ended up having to kill people in order to gain money <laughs> yeah uh which limited the number of things that i was able to do i in the second one you know like i knew to plan for that and you can see what's going to happen at the end right at the beginning like you can see where the you know, which general, actions are going to get unlocked. generally where the, where the game is going to go uh i really enjoyed that like you can plan yeah. ahead and there's there's just no hidden information in the game and i will say like even though there's a long like wait in between turns especially in the beginning of the game when you have yeah. more options late like late game though because you're so because you're now like locked into a path like your turns will go super fast like it's just be like, okay, I need to do this and this because that's all the people I have. I'll do that. And then, yeah, it gets, it gets quicker each time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that, yeah, I, I would highlight that as well. Like, I was really surprised. Like, I was like, there's no way this is going to be a 30-minute game when we were the first four rounds. are like, putting you in, like, 20 minutes. But then it's like, oh, this is my turn. Done. This is my turn. Done. Yeah. We had we had one game, one uh, where Jimmy had it, where he was really trying to exploit his people and kill them. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and he had no people, so he just rested. It's just like his turn was literally... A millisecond, just done. Done. Um, I will say though that down between between turns turned me off a little bit. The the lack of interaction turned me off a little bit in the game yes. as well. This is definitely like you're in your own little bubble. No one can really like. There's only like even a few civilizations that can stop other people. There like, was that one though that was. There's we, a, there's we had one that came out at the end that yes. that killed other people's that, workers. <laughs> it killed your workers too, but you got points when you did it. And and that 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 felt that would be such a shift in how that game would go, yes. which would be cool. I mean, that that plays to the variability, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. And like, there's like one card I saw was like, uh, nobody else can do trade on their turn. So like, there's like, but it's, it's very pass like like for a Euro style game, like this is like really passive aggressive on even on those standards. Yeah. But in the end, thoughts? Liked it? Loved it? Hated it? What? I got last place the first time, got first place the second time. I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty good. <laughs> but did you like the game? Oh, yeah, I liked it. Would you buy it? Ooh, depending on the price. Okay. I think I would buy it. Yeah, yeah. I know you're I high on this one. Yeah, uh, I, yeah I, I just like being able to see the map and kind of plan ahead. You were super excited. You were like, let's play it again. We have I time. was, yeah. Because like, cause yeah. I didn't get it the first time. Oh, yeah, no. Because like, I feel like you, like, you need like that one game to be like, oh, this is how this works together. Okay, so I can't like do everything at the same time. I just got to stick to that path, kind mm -hmm. of, and like full go into it. And, and I realized yeah. that first game, money was scarce because there was nothing to get money between the first two. And then it was like, two from the end yeah, yeah. <coughs> so there was a giant swath where you couldn't get any you just like you, you had to coast on whatever side. money you already had built up yeah, and like timing also works on just like getting your civilization because like i waited until like the end because like literally me waiting to the end of the game to, like, to get my last civilization will be the game because it's getting like two extra points because it was and it was it's always going to be close to like if you like if even if you mess up in the beginning like you're not going to be that far like you can still win Mm -hmm. you know what i think you talked me into liking this a little bit more than i think about it because yeah there's a lot of variability uh the solo mode there were some some tokens we didn't even utilize because the second time we made it so where you could customize your tech tree a little bit and and what you brought up was a great point every single game well the two games were really close mm -hmm. oh, yeah. like the uh the last game i think it was i was Two it points was, separated everybody, right? Uh, yeah. I was I only won by one point. Yeah, and then there yeah. were two people right below you, and then one person right below that. Yeah. yeah. So it was very close, and the other and we and that was cool too because it got to the last turn, and did you think you were gonna win? Uh, no. Yeah, I don't I, think. I just I was yeah. so happy I kind of fighting chance. Yeah, it was yeah. like Man, no I, one had I really an idea. Thought I was doing really well, and I didn't realize everybody else was right there with me. Yeah, I, I think I really dig this game, and I think if you're in the market for a uh, a, a civilization game that. Packs a good punch in 30 minutes. Lots of interesting choices to be made in this one. Creating your, your own civilization, I think, is the coolest aspect of it. But yeah, I, I really dug this one. I think Really this... great box setup. Uh, had a lot of stuff in there. Yep. Tiny box. Uh, doesn't take a lot of room on your shelf. Has tons yeah. of game in it. Yeah. 
Age of Civilization. I think this is a recommendation from all of us. Definitely okay. one you might want to check out. And uh, I'd be interested to talk to Jimmy about it as well because there's a solo mode that actually has scenarios too. And I can see this being mm. a pretty stinking fun little lunchtime solo game as well with how mm -hmm. easy it is to tear it up and put it away. But that is Age of Civilization from Ice Maker Game. If it looks like my cup of tea, be sure to check that one out. If you're enjoying what I'm doing, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below. If you support the channel, consider supporting the Patreon down below uh, because it helps with the audio, the video, lighting, all that good stuff. And in the comments below, let me know. What is your favorite Nicholas Sparks book? <laughs> I'm going with a notebook. <laughs> dibs. Oh, I, do, I do love Ryan Gosling. Is this a dibs situation? <laughs> You can't say that. I can't say the notebook. No, I already took it. No, we can't have the same favorite. I, I don't, don't know anything. any other nope. I don't. I don't know any other. Why did you say Nicholas Sparks if you had no other <laughs> book options? Well, normally when I do these, I'm by myself, so I can say the notebook. I'm not used to people butting in and stealing my answer. Well, I also love the notebook, and I'm not just saying that because there's a huge poster behind <laughs> the camera. All right. Me personally, it's uh, it's really close between a lot of his works, but I'm going to have to lean to the notebook because that's the only one I know. Comments <laughs> below. What's your favorite Nicholas Sparks book? Is it A Walk in the Woods? Was that another one? I don't know. I think it is. I oh. legit didn't know who Nicholas Sparks was until I had to read the poster. <laughs> 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 <laughs>